Maskacne is a new terminology which has emerged after wearing these masks. We don't know how long we are going to wear these masks and this is looks like it's going to stay for some time because the nature of this whole virus. People are getting acne, blemishes, rashes, heat rashes, all those kind of stuff. I'm Dr. Vrindar Sodi. I'm going to tell you the causes and what you can do to prevent that. What are the causes of mask acne? They actually have invented this new terminology, they call it mask acne. So what's going on is, you know, you're wearing this tight stuff around your nose and uh, you're breathing out. Uh, the first is friction, you're rubbing, you know, you, you might have seen some nurses and doctors who has actually big bruises and the reddish on their faces when they have taken those masks down. So, and especially with the N95 kind of masks, which are very tight and it takes care of 95% of the viruses, although there's not 100% guarantee on it either, but that also has this bigger side effect. So you, you friction rubs are coming up and the same skin is becoming sensitive. Like anything which you rub against again and again, you're going to have a problem. And then also, the your your uh, breath is hot so you're breathing out the hot air and in the natural way you breathe out and it dissipates in the, the environment but now this energy is get caught up in the mask so you're creating a heated environment and you're also breathing out bacteria we breathe out bacteria okay we you know that's why we're wearing masks so that we don't breathe in bacteria viruses and fungus is natural it's just exists in the mother nature so now those bacteria are getting concentrated, you know, in the minute dilute form, they don't do anything, but now these are concentrated. So look at this. So you're creating more friction, you're getting hotter and you have the perfect factory of those bacteria. The skin is getting infected and you are getting acne or rashes, dermatitis and blemishes because of the environment created by wearing the mask. The third cause is sweating because when you are heat, uh, there's a heat produced by the your breathing, uh, you're sweating. And also, you know, when you, and we might have noticed that when you wear tight clothes, uh, you sweat more. So wearing this tight mask and especially the medical profession, they have a mask and then they have shield. Uh, my daughter-in-law is a orthodontist and she has to wear so many layers of it. And then the special robe on top of it. So by the time she's get done, she said, you know, dad, I am just like a full of sweat uh, because uh, of that, all the heat contained inside the system. So that is a, another aggravating factor because the heat also creates more rash. You, know, you might have seen when there's a hot weather, there is a very common reaction, it's called millery reaction or a heat rash. Uh, so you're also getting heat rash, the skin getting irritated and the bacteria are there from your breath and also on the skin, we have bacteria that is getting penetrated into the skin and creating a problem. So now what is the remedy? What do you can do? so that you don't get these rashes, acne, and all those kind of stuff. Uh, one thing is, you know, if you don't need to wear a mask, don't wear it. Because I've seen folks who are driving the car and they have the mask. You know, you are the only one person in that car. Don't wear that. That's not necessarily asking for trouble. Uh, yes, I'm encouraging you to wear the mask where you need to, like if you go to crowded places, you enter a mall or uh, a, a shop, you need that but don't wear in the open spaces when you're walking in the jungle. You know, you don't need to wear the mask. You're not gonna get virus there. Uh, you will get viruses when there are lots of folks around you. So watch for that one. Second is a hygiene. So even before wearing, so there are different kinds of skin people have. Now, some people has a very dry skin. Some people has an oily skin. Uh, some people are very sensitive skin. They get inflamed very quickly. So the different folks will have a different kind of requirement for taking care of their skin. So let's start with the dry skin. So the folks who have a dry skin, if you're using soap, you're gonna get more dry, isn't it? Uh, 
So what you want to do is you want to use a natural oils. Uh, I like olive oil. I like coconut oil. I like ghee. You can put little thin layer on your face, and then now this becomes like a barrier between your mask and and your uh, the the skin. So that way you know you prevent the skin. Uh, you can also add oils in your diet, eating internal because that also moisturizes the skin from inside out. Okay. Second thing is people who are sensitive skin. So these are the folks who are more prone to skin acne and rashes and all those kind of stuff. So in Ayurvedic medicine, we call them pitta, very fiery. They are hot, uh, they are hot tempered, they get enraged easy and they also get skin rashes very easy too. So for those folks, this is kind of a little delicate. So what you want to do is, and they also have an oily skin on top of it. So you can use dry it off, you know, and I like chickpea flour, or you can also use oat flour. So I, you know, I'm natural medicine doctor. I don't like chemical benzoyl peroxide over the counter or retinol uh, may take care of you, but also will wipe off your good bacteria. I don't want to wipe off your good bacteria. I want to keep your good bacteria because they are very helpful. And you know, people who has used that, they come to me and they have more rashes because the skin is peeling off, drying off, you know, and which is not the best condition. So you can use chickpea flour, just make a little paste of it and put some, a little bit of water. You can use a sandalwood oil. You can use a rose oil. You can use rose water in it. Make a little thin paste of it. Apply it on your face, let it leave, and then wash it off with the cold water. Now, what you did, you pulled out all the wrong bacteria. You pulled out all the excessive oil, which has deposited on your skin. Now, what you can do after that, you can use a rose water, aloe vera gel. Aloe vera gel is like a magic magic for these kind of folks. Uh, and it's very inexpensive. I love the fresh plant because in when they have aloe vera gel, they have to put some chemical to preserve it. But there is also preservative free aloe vera gel available. You can apply on your face. Whenever I go to a hot place, you know, I'm very fiery too. Uh, and I can get enraged too, by the way. But I put aloe vera gel on my face and uh, I usually get by without using any sunscreen. If you have to use something uh, which is, uh, you know, uh, the chemical based, I like zinc containing. There are uh, zinc uh, oxide ointment available, which you can also use around the area where you get rashes and acne, which is a very less toxic, uh, non-toxic almost, uh, um, the material which is available. But the rose water is an amazing, astringent it actually tightens your skin and it has a nice aroma sandalwood does the same thing too so people who has a dry skin they can also wash up with the chickpea flour or oat flour but what they need to do they need to add either yogurt if you're allergic to the dairy product you can also put few drops of olive oil or almond oil and put some sandalwood oil or a rose oil or rose water in and make a paste and apply on your face and then keep it for some time then wash it out so applying these small things will help your skin to get better. And by the end of the day, when you go uh, in Ayurvedic medicine, we, we call them Panch Shanan. Panch means five. Shanan means bathing, five bathing. So what do you do? You wash your feet, you wash your two hands, and you wash your face. So now five, see, two feet, two hands, and your face. So before going to the bed, this is a ritual which you all need to do. And uh, uh, as a young kid, our grandma taught us, if you don't do that, you're going to have a bad dream. So I think she was trying us to make it into a habit. So if you do that, and it's exactly, if you look at the deep side of it, it is a hygiene routine. You wash it up. You know, when you are uh, working out, you have a daily routine, your feet get dirty, you get hot, you know, they have a smell in them. Uh, same thing, your hands get dirty and you have smell in them. Your face get, uh, collect all the dust and all the bacteria which is flying out from the mother nature or the places which we have in there. So you're washing it off and then you can apply depending upon your skin type. If you're dry skin, apply some oils like olive oil, coconut oil, uh, ghee, uh, if you are a like a pitta kind of a, a body type, you can put coconut oil or jojoba oil uh, infused with a little bit of sandalwood, which has a cooling effect on it. And uh, so apply that at night, a little bit of it. And you will one thing you can also use, by the way, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, lavender oil. Lavender oil is really good for the, the folks out there with the pitta too. So few drops of that. And also these essential oil promote good, wonderful sleep. People 
you know fall asleep okay very quickly and they have a sound sleep through so you when you get good sound sleep your skin improves you know you might have seen like you you have a, a good night sleep you look so fresh when you wake up in the morning you feel so fresh so doing this normal routine washing your hand feet and your face and applying these simple remedies at home remedies your skin going to look wonderful another thing which you can easily do uh turmeric you can put chickpea and a little pinch of turmeric in it and sandalwood depending upon your skin type you can oil use oil or yogurt uh and apply your skin has a amazing antioxidant anti inflammatory anti bacterial property and your skin will glow uh interestingly in india now uh, there is a special ceremony which we do which we call haldi or in the we can call turmeric ceremony and before marry the bride and bridegroom both sides does the special ceremony for the bride and bridegroom and they are rubbed with this chickpea flower and some other herbs in it including turmeric and to promote the color of the skin and to enhance the beauty of the bride and the make this bridegroom handsome so by following these simple rituals i think your skin is going to look very good but if you have a very irritated red inflame one another thing which i do you know which is very simple easy you all have it at home take some ice cube put in a napkin just rub gently on it and you'll see even if you have inflamed acne if you rub on it uh by the next day you will see that is all gone because the, all the inflammation is going to go body is going to dissipate all the heat and you feel very very wonderfully good so you know following the simple remedies simple uh, tricks which i told you your skin is going to look good and uh, you will not have as much issues with the wearing a mask and hopefully these tips are very helpful for you if you have any questions you're most welcome to ask us thank you very much namaste